Jay-Z might just be a master manipulator, as he has been called several times. With all the events surrounding Diddy and allegations against him, especially- Megan Thee Stallion speaks out against P. Diddy, and also, finally, we're gonna have some Jay-Z drama, because he is also speaking out against P. Diddy. So we have a lot to cover. Before I get started, you guys know I'm bad and bougie. I'm a label whore. Full face of Chanel today. I've been loving the Chanel powder, which I have to set the face because it's getting a little bit oily because I've been in makeup in such a long time. So I've been in makeup for such a long time today with the Chanel bronzer. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier today on my live stream, I was using the Chanel body butter. I, I just, I love this one. The body cream rather. So I'll link those in the YouTube shop along with the lip oil, which is by Clarinus Paris. Um, I'm gonna put some on right now. I think I need a little bit, hold on. Not too much, okay? It's in shade honey, so I'll link that as well. All right, let's talk, because I feel like we need to talk. So first of all, before we get into what Megan Thee Stallion had to say and did, and it's so weird how all these people are connected, because you would think, like, how is Megan Thee Stallion linked with P. Diddy, right? Well, you have to understand that Megan Thee Stallion is signed to Jay-Z's record label brand or whatever, right? And Jay-Z has an over 10 year friendship with P. Diddy. So you see how it's all linked together? And I started with like a bag of hot Cheetos or something. So we'll get into that further on in the video with Megan Thee Stallion and Jay-Z and P. Diddy. But first, people are saying that Jay-Z is being very, very quiet. And 50 Cent is calling out Jay-Z for being quiet over the P. Diddy allegations. Now, every year, Jay-Z has like this huge, I don't know, what do you want to call it? Extravaganza, eleganza of some type of brunch and a lot of rappers and industry people are invited, even 50 Cent. But it seems like this year that Rock Nation Jay-Z brunch has been canceled due to the P. Diddy drama. I have a feeling that P. Diddy would also probably invest money into it, but that's just my opinion. So because of all the drama, 50 Cent is now popping off about P. Diddy and Jay-Z, but Jay-Z, is being very quiet. So let me show you what they have to say. Now, one of the blogs that I got this from, Rap Wise, they're calling out the whole P. Diddy 50 Cent thing and why he's being quiet. So here we go, roll it. Jay-Z's much anticipated reaction is the latest in Diddy's assault video on Cassie. So let's get right into it. Remember when Jaguar Wright said Jay-Z was smarter than Diddy? It's situations like the one Diddy is currently in that pop off and then older interviews begin to make sense. Jaguar Wright in an interview with Hip Hop News Uncensored said, Sean Carter is worse. He's smarter. He's patient. He's not sloppy. She then further alleged, This pussy been lining up people he calls friends and stepping to the side while they get hit by the guillotine for 30 fucking years. When the interview dropped back then, in 2023, it might not have made much sense. But with 50 Cent beating the drums loudly and the recent video of Diddy abusing Cassie, some lines of her sentences began to fall in place and raise eyebrows. Jay-Z might just be a master manipulator, as he has been called several times. With all the events surrounding Diddy and allegations against him, especially with the release of the assault footage of him, one would expect Jay-Z to have backed up his homeboy. But nah, nothing like that has happened. Jay-Z has kept strategically silent about the whole ordeal. 50 Cent knew this and didn't let it slide by. Days before Diddy's assault footage was made public by CNN, 50 Cent went to Instagram and dragged Jay-Z out. 50 posted a close-up picture of Jay-Z. Underneath, he wrote the caption, Jay in hibernation, he ain't coming outside till this shit with puff blow over. No brunch, no lunch, no dinner. LOL, I'm all you got, I'm outside. 50 Cent was talking about Jay-Z's decision to cancel this year's Rock Nation brunch, an event held annually before the Grammy Awards and usually attended by celebrities like Diddy. 50 Cent had been at it several times in the past, too. On March 26, 2024, taking aim at Jay for Diddy's sexual allegations, which Diddy denied countlessly, 50 shared a photo of a milk carton with Jay's face edited onto its missing children ad placement. In the caption, he said, Anybody seen Jay? LOL. Puff said the nigga answering his phone, lol, suggesting that Jay had ghosted his homeboy, Diddy. 50 Cent later, on April 28th, uploaded a deep fake video from the film, New Jack City. The scene featured Wesley Snipes' gang leader character, Nino Brown, and Ice-T's Detective Appleton. It showed Nino pleading guilty to a lesser charge and being sentenced to a year in jail, much to the anger of the detective, who wished he had killed Nino. 
In the clip, the faces of Snipes and Ice-T had been altered slightly to represent Diddy and Jay-Z, respectively. With 50's comment about, this thing is bigger than Nino Brown, he appeared to be suggesting that Jay-Z had some knowledge of Diddy's alleged crimes of sexual assault and sex trafficking, all of which the bad boy boss has vehemently denied and denied. But with the release of the assault footage, there's now nowhere to hide. Just two days after the video went viral, Diddy responded ASAP with an apology video on Instagram. Diddy's apology represented a rare instance of vulnerability from the hip-hop mogul, known for his image of confidence and control. He acknowledged seeking professional help, including therapy and rehab, to address his personal struggles. I was disgusted then when I did it, I'm disgusted now. I went and I sought out professional help. Now they're going to therapy and going to rehab. He also took a religious route still, motioning to the fact that he was remorseful of his act. He said, I had to ask God for his mercy and grace. I'm so sorry, but I'm committed to be a better man each and every day. I'm not asking for forgiveness. I'm truly sorry. In all of this, Jay-Z remains silent, and people wonder if this is another case of Jaguar Wright's declarations on the icon, where he steps to the side for his friends to be hit by the guillotine. Now, RapWise posted this video called Megan Thee Stallion Exposes P. Diddy and Jay-Z. Now, how are they linked up together? Well, again, Megan Thee Stallion is signed to Jay-Z's record label, and so she's not really saying anything about her boss's best friend P. Diddy because again Jay-Z and P. Diddy are best friends for over 10 years so of course she's not going to say anything at all. She's just continuing to put out her albums and her diss tracks and go on tour and raking money for Jay-Z but at the same time which explains why Beyonce and Megan Thee Stallion have some type of friendship and how she when Beyonce came to Houston Megan Thee Stallion popped up at her concert and things like that I'm like oh it all makes sense like, these people are, are connected and if you don't know that you would just assume they're all just friends but really it's beneficial for them because they're signed under the same label or have the same friends or it mutually benefits them in some type of financial capacity. Well, apparently, according to RapWise, Megan Thee Stallion is finally speaking out against P. Diddy and Jay-Z. And I was like, okay, let's hear what they have to say. Here we go, roll it. Megan Thee Stallion allegedly leaks a scandalous video of Diddy and Jay-Z, and it's the only thing fans can talk about. But first, let's talk about how these three industry giants know each other. Megan's relationship with Jay-Z began in 2019, when the rapper surprised her with her favorite snack, Flamin' Hot Cheetos. This gesture followed a meeting that led Megan to sign with Jay-Z's management company, Rock Nation. Megan has since credited Rock Nation with helping her understand her previous unconscionable contract with 1501 Certified Entertainment. Now Megan is forever grateful to Jay. As for Diddy, he and Jay-Z have a decades-long friendship that dates back to the early 1990s when they were both rising stars in the rap industry. As a result, it was only natural for these three A-list rappers to know each other. But all these cheeky connections paled in the face of Diddy's recent controversy. Sean Diddy Combs, the renowned media mogul and entrepreneur, has been involved in a high-profile lawsuit filed by Rodney Lil Rod Jones, a producer who worked on Diddy's 2023 album, The Love album Off the Grid. The lawsuit, which was initially filed in February 2024, accuses Diddy of sexual harassment, assault, and other illicit activities, seeking $30 million in damages. Jones, who produced nine songs on the album, claims that he experienced constant abuse and harassment by Diddy during their time working together. Interestingly, celebrities who have been close to Combs have gone silent about the issue, including Megan and Jay-Z. Although there haven't been any considerable collaboration between Megan and Diddy, her silence was noted by fans especially since she just released a diss track that has also gained controversy for being insensitive to sexual assault victims. In her song Hiss, the rapper referenced Megan's Law, a legislation that requires authorities to make information about registered sex offenders available to the public. The law was made in response to the 1994 murder of Megan Kanka, a seven-year-old girl who was brutally raped and murdered by a twice-convicted sexual offender. In Megan's diss track, her lyrics read, These don't be mad at Megan. These mad at Megan's Law. I don't really know what the problem is, but I guarantee y'all don't want me to start. The line is seen as a dig at Nicki Minaj, with whom Megan has been engaged in a public feud. However, the reference to Megan's Law has drawn sharp criticism from Megan Kanka's family, particularly her father, Richard Kanka, who called the line disrespectful and offensive. But this isn't the only controversy that drew parallels between Diddy and Megan. In fact, just like Diddy, Megan was also involved in a lawsuit. Earlier in April 2024, the Grammy-winning rapper faced a lawsuit filed by her former personal cameraman, Emilio Garcia, who alleges he was 
subjected to a hostile work environment, harassment, and various labor law violations. According to the suit, Stallion had sex in an SUV with another woman while Garcia was present. Garcia, who was trapped in the moving vehicle, felt embarrassed, mortified, and offended throughout the whole ordeal. More controversially, Garcia claimed that Megan made degrading comments, calling him a fat b and telling him to spit your food out. He also explained that he was employed by Megan until June 2023, when Rock Nation notified him the night before a scheduled gig that his services would no longer be required. A classic case of wrongful termination. Seeing that she might be just as involved with similar crimes as Diddy, it makes sense that Megan is keeping mum. But what about Jay-Z? The hip-hop community has been abuzz with speculation and criticism as Jay-Z chooses to stay out of the limelight during Diddy's legal problems. But fans were dying to know, and apparently, so was Diddy's longtime rival, 50 Cent. Known for his bold comments, 5th took to social media to troll Jay-Z for his silence. In a series of posts, 50 Cent humorously questioned Jay-Z's whereabouts, suggesting that Jay is intentionally laying low until the storm surrounding Diddy blows over. In one post that gained viral attention, 5th said, Jay in hibernation, he ain't coming outside till this would puff blow over. No brunch, no lunch, no dinner. LOL, I'm all you got him outside. Whether or not the events happening to these three rappers now, you want my opinion about all this drama? I don't necessarily think that Megan Thee Stallion will say anything about Jay-Z or P. Diddy. Apparently, she did, and if her not saying anything at all is her saying something, then I guess it is what it is. But I feel like Megan Thee Stallion does not want to get involved in that drama. She wants to make her bag and stay in her lane. But a lot of people are probably looking at her sideways, too, especially because she's been known to be so vocal. But whenever it gets too close to home, she doesn't say anything at all. So I can see how some people are side-eyeing Megan Thee Stallion right now, and they want her to speak up and say something, but at the same time, she's protecting her back. Now, I still stand by what I said, that Beyonce, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, and Rihanna, and maybe another female rapper should all go on tour, dress up like the Spice Girls, but do rap songs and have this one and done album and then do a one and done tour. And that's it. I think that's a phenomenal thing. This whole girl power thing. I keep saying that from a PR marketing standpoint, this would be amazing. But who am I, girl? Who am I? No one listens to me. Now, Megan Thee Stallion is from Houston, Texas, and so is Beyonce. So I would like to see more of them getting along, but I have a feeling that we will see more Beyonce and Megan Thee Stallion and stuff coming out in the future if Megan Thee Stallion can finally get off from under the Rock Nation or Jay-Z record label and go at it with her and Beyonce. I, I feel like there's something coming because there's so many celebrities like Jennifer Lopez who just aren't saying anything at all because the P. Diddy thing is huge because it's more than just Cassie, okay? It's, it's the behavior of the hush money, allegedly. It's the behavior of the... Uh, bullying allegedly it's the behavior of just intimidation practices allegedly like it's a lot of that and Jay-Z I feel is one of those people that be using his money to make things work and he's like I'm gonna do it down I, I have a feeling that there's like something going on because if P Diddy has to like go down Jay-Z is next and people keep saying that all over social media that Jay-Z is next. Jay-Z has a really good clean so far that I know of, but I don't know. I think he has some, we'll see what happens, girl. I'm saying, if I end up missing, you know, Jay-Z, Beyonce, PDD did at the house, okay? Because I'm making these videos and people are watching and people are listening to the point that now I'm getting emails and I'm getting messages and this I'm fake accounts, I'm getting phone calls and text messages. I'm just like, this is just crazy, girl, okay? and. Let's not forget, when the Travis Scott Astroworld incident happened, I was covering that to the T. And it was the same thing, the same type of drama and phone calls and text messages. And where is Travis Scott now? You don't ever hear from him. He's laying low in the house, girl. But anyways, let me know what you think about this drama in the comments down below. This is Rich Lux with the hottest celebrity news on. Bye.